been seeing the word sold everywhere. It has been constantly in my face. God is so good. And y'all, this is right where he landed me. I said, Lord, what does this mean? Those of you who God has placed a dream within you, where he has shown you and given you a desire of a specific plot of land or a specific building, it's going to happen because it's for God's glory and he is going to build something with you. I get so excited over this word because I actually have a building that the Lord showed me years ago. It's in my city. I have been going to it. I have prayed over it. The Lord literally set up multiple divine appointments. Jeremiah 32. Six And Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Buy my field, which is Ananoth, for the right of redemption is yours to buy it. It's actually instructed Jeremiah to buy a field for a specific purpose. And this is what he's going to be doing with the body of Christ. On top of that, the Lord says this in Jeremiah 32, 14. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these deeds, both this purchase deed, which is sealed, and this deed, which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel, that they may last many days. This isn't going to be something that you are just starting and you lose it. This is going to be permanent. You are becoming established in the land. Those among you will hear of your name, and they will know to give glory to God. 15. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. That's so good. It continues on. 16. Jeremiah prays for understanding. I pray to the Lord saying, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too hard for God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter where you're at. He's going to make it happen because it is his will. Okay, sorry. I got excited. You show loving kindness to thousands and repay the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty God, whose name is the Lord of hosts. You are great in counsel and mighty in work, for your eyes are open to all the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. We must first make sure that our heart is pure from evil. Second, we must work diligently to do exactly as God asked us to do, to manage the money, to manage the land itself to serve others to love others to extend our hand to others and we need to do everything with a spirit of excellence this is the body of christ building season that we are coming into the lord is doing it he's doing a new thing i have met two pastors who both got buildings and they each got their place for one dollar you have given them this land of which you swore to their fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey when you receive this then you need to make certain that you do not forget the lord your god in deuteronomy 8 18 it says that god is the one who gives us the power to get wealth that wealth is for a purpose these buildings this land is for a purpose so take this back to the lord if this word is for you congratulations it is sold it is yours and it is on its way